Thank you. Katie in Russellville, Kentucky. Katie, as we watch these protesters on Capitol Hill, they remain there at this hour. What are you thinking? Well, I'm hoping the protesters are safe. I wonder how many Antifa have infiltrated that might be causing some violence. It's not like Trump supporters to be violent at all. However, I am so pleased to see people that can get there to protest the rigged election. Communism in this country, unfortunately, is now here. And we have to stand up. I don't believe in violence, respect the police, and I suspect that the Trump supporters have. I suspect Antifa has gotten in there in Trump gear. Katie, do you do you uh, do you think that it was, uh, or or should the security on Capitol grounds uh, have been breached? Should they have tried to enter the Capitol? Yes, communism must be stopped if they have to take them by the ear and throw them all down the steps and call for re-elections across the board. We have allowed our institutions to be overrun by communists over the last sixty years. They are now here. It's either stand up and defend now or lose the country forever. All right. Max in Boston. Max, go ahead. Hi. Uh, thank you so much for giving a platform for all of us who want to share what we're thinking about right now and for taking my call. Um, one thing I just wanted to get out there um, and something that's on the mind of so many young people in this country is how the reaction from law enforcement of this riot differs from the reaction that was present several months ago during the Black Lives Matter protests in reaction to you know, the killings of George Floyd. Um, at the time, several months ago, folks were protesting civil rights. They were protesting police brutality and were met with you know, a huge show of force from the National Guard, tear gas, rubber bullets. And what we're seeing today is, is nothing in comparison to that. And what we're seeing today is a, a full-blown riot that borders on a coup. And I just think that it is so horrifying to see the double standard in this country um, for protesting, you know, the subjugation of people of color um, versus a full-blown riot. So that's all. That's all I wanted to mention. Thank you. Okay. All right, Max.